Hey guys, today is a little bit different than our normal video. So I picked some stuff up from Facebook Marketplace today. It is two bottom Craftsman toolboxes and a top one full of tools, which was nice. And I want to walk through kind of our first look, you know, me and you, into looking at what I got them or what I got in the toolboxes themselves. It was 300 bucks for everything, which wasn't a terrible price, but We'll, we'll see if it was worth it. So today, or the, the first video, there'll be three parts of it. One for each toolbox. We're gonna look at this little top box. So the top box is the Craftsman. It's the nicest box out of all three of them. Uh, good condition overall. Uh, I'll probably resell the boxes if I can't fix them up, but we'll see how it goes. So on the top of this box, it looks like we have Old Craftsman tape measure, old Sterrett digital tape, whatever that's supposed to mean. I'm assuming it shows you your your inches or whatever whenever you're actually using it, which I don't know why you would need that, but it looks fancy enough. And this is a yeah, battery there and stuff like that. <laughs> you have a little Stanley lever lock, so these are pretty nice if it actually works, yeah. So you pull it out and it locks automatically. You pull the lever down and it goes back in. Not a bad tape, made in the United States, old Stanley. We have a drill index. Sorry, the thing's dusty. Uh, looks like just a, uh, yeah, no name, made in China, drill index. This was interesting, I saw this. It's a tool inventory that the guy that owned it before had. So this is all the tools that he had in his toolbox, I think. So that was kind of neat to see. Clearly it's old, very old, but it was just neat to see that. What else do we got? Whatever these are, uh, it looks like it says, Warning, make sure system is discharged. So I don't know what these would be for. If you know, tell me, because I got no clue. So we got just a wheel. We got a couple of sanding discs. Um, looks like some, some disgusting shit. Soldering paste for your flux welders, but that's gross. Um, just regular bent needle nose. Uh, these are, ooh, look at that snap-on. It's made in the USA snap-on, not bad. And then your little, um, it says a maize brand. So made in the United States, maize. Uh, looks like the same as your Stanley's or your Craftsman's or whatever, but yeah. We'll so as of right now, that's definitely not worth it, but we'll keep going. And then soldering wire. Uh, we'll start with, oh, looks like more junk. So we have, looks like an air nozzle. Uh, not bad. It says Boston, USA on it. Old. You can definitely tell that it's old. Heavy. Uh, spark plugs, drill bits, regular bits. Um... Inches, plastic pieces. <laughs> there you go. Some old stuff. Some baby drill bits made in the United States. Uh, what else we got? Drill bits. Stuff for air hoses. A paintbrush. Razor blade. rest of junk so the next one <coughs> all right this is kind of the stuff that i was looking at when i was buying this thing so we got a quarter inch drive snap on ratchet long handle so nice um works both ways which is also nice um we have junk ratchet i'm just going to collect these i think 
and we ever get to enough views per video or subscribers or whatever, I'll probably just send a box out to some random subscriber. Have a have a nice hoard of tools just sent their way. So throw it to the side. Um, SK ratchet, big half inch. These are good ratchets. Uh, it's actually a pretty straight one, which is nice. SK Wayne, USA Patton. They're made in the United States too. We have, looks like just a finger bit driver, but there's no brand on that. Another bit driver. Uh, it's a no clue brand. We have a old school Craftsman. You can tell this is old school because it doesn't have a quick release on it. So it's a kind of in between the flying V selector switches and the regular selectors. I've never seen one. I'm assuming this must have been from another part because I've never seen one with that short selector. That's usually for a, a flex head. So I don't know why it's on this, but maybe it was rebuilt. Don't know. But it's crunchy. We'll have to see if oil can loosen that up. We have snap-on ratcheting wrench, some SK sockets, else? old school Husky made by New Britain before as a Home Depot brand, not bad, Proto, Mac, Matco, snap-on, old, old snap-on. Like 1930s snap on. Another old snap on, probably from the 50s or so. Mac. Snap on. Some more junk for some random subscriber later. Ooh, look at you, some more junk. Some Taiwan garbage. Mac, Challenger by Proto, old, this is about 1950s, I have a whole set of these already, Snap-on, Challenger by Proto, ooh, Challenger of Canada is what it says, interesting, I don't know if you can see, Challenger of Canada, that's an interesting one, Junk, Crew line, so junk. Snap on. New Husky, made by New Britain still, but this is contracted for Sears, or for, excuse me, not Sears, Home Depot. Same exact socket as the Sears sockets were. More snap on, maybe if you can see. Mac, Mac, Challenger, and so on and so forth. I don't want to bore you guys to death. It's my first time going through it too, so I don't want to skip stuff that I want to see. Ooh, this is a killer drawer. Look at that. Some saw wrenches. Nice. Yeah. All right, other side. So we got some channel locks or slip joints, whatever you want to, or not slip joints, uh, tongue and groove, whatever you want to call them. These look like off brand something, I want to say. So that'll go in the pile for whoever wins it. Um, we got Bonnie, old school brand. Slip joints. Made in Germany. Old snap ons. You see that? Maybe somewhere. Old, old snap on. It's kind of cool. Something, anything, something random. Well, can't find a name on it, so I guess it's one of your guys's. 
That'll go in our pile. Ooh, that's interesting. There's a, uh, a link on it. So, some old diamond something, if you guys know what that is. Let me know, because those look interesting. I've never seen those before in my life. Vice grips, of course. Some made in Taiwan pliers, one of your guys'. Uh, some made in China pliers, one of your guys's. Little slip joints. And some Mac angled dikes. And one of your guys's again. I think. Yeah, it looks like. And a nice fancy box cutter. Extra. We got a impact driver. Not bad. We have whatever that is. Some snap on something. Tell me what it is if you know what it is. Again, no clue what that is. The guy said he was a, a bodywork guy, so I'm assuming a lot of this stuff probably has something to do with bodywork. Again, there's a lot of this stuff where I just have no clue what it is at all. Um, your angled screwdrivers. Uh, some random brand. Some files, drill bits. Some snap-on. I'm assuming these are like deburrs or something. I'm not sure Again, if you guys know what it is. I got no clue. Uh, there's another one, smaller one. Same thing, snap on. I don't know if you guys know what that is. If you do, let me know. And then a bigger angled Phillips. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we've got some wrenches at least. We got some Max. We got some Duida. Dawada. Dawadat, something, Mercedes-Benz, interesting, Craftsman Old School, V-Series, made in USA, some SK, or Mac, hmm, that's interesting, Continental American, I don't know if anybody's ever seen that brand before, but interesting, made in Japan, you know, I'll put that in the giveaway pile, looks kind of cool. That's funny that it's called Continental American, made in Japan, but yeah, so I'll put that in the, the giveaway pile. Mac. More Mac, more Mac. Some snap-ons. Snap-on. It's not a terrible drawer. All right. Middle one. Let's make some time up because we're on 13 minutes now. Uh, I have no clue what this is. If anybody knows what that is, not for use with metal rivets. Is it a rivet gun? It's made by Marson, so. It just says it right there. What does it say? Setter. Rivet setter. Plastic rivet setter. Okay. Smart ass. Some tools. Mac. I don't know what these are either. If you do know, let me know. I mean, I'm assuming this is all bodywork stuff. I know this is for a torch. It doesn't work anymore because it's. Well, it was for a torch at one point. But it ain't going to light itself anymore, I don't think. Yep. Yeah, I have no clue what any of this stuff is. So, yeah, if you know what this stuff is, again, if you're a body guy, you might know. Because I honestly have no clue at all about anything in this whole entire drawer. I mean, made in the USA thread conversion kit. Yeah, I, again, if you know what it is, let me know, because I got no clue. All right, let's go in the big drawers. So let's see, we got, this is a good drawer. I, 
This is one of the pictures, the few pictures that they showed online. I knew that, yep, must be worth something. Um, looks like a no-name screwdriver. It'll be in the giveaway pile. We have a Mac, looks like an upholstery tool almost, just a, like a puller. Bad. One of your guys is something. It looks like a snap-on, but clearly it's not a snap-on. It's made in Taiwan, so. It's an old school square drive. Roscoe, another USA made something. Um, I'm assuming this is another panel pulling something or other. Snap-on made in the USA. A Matco pocket screwdriver, some bunch of craftsman stuff, you know, craftsman stuff everywhere. Mac bit driver. It looks like some something Canada. There you go. That'll be in your style well too. Mm. Klein tools. Something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Looks like another Mac bit driver. And what else we got? Bell Systems, whatever that is. Very long Mac screwdriver. Very long snap on screwdriver. It's kind of bent, but it'll be okay. I think this is a snap on. Yeah, something like that. Some punches, more Mac stuff, pullers, screwdrivers, craftsmen, something or other. One of your guys' somethings. One of your guys' somethings again. And one of your guys' something again. Look at that. You're getting a bunch of stuff. But yeah, not bad. I figured for the for the Mac and Snap on stuff, it's probably worth a decent amount just for that stuff alone. Uh, I mean, that's not getting my three hundred dollars back as right now, but we still have two more toolboxes to go over. Of course, it'll be a different video, but we'll get there. What else do we get? More Mac stuff. Um, these are all air chisels, so I mean they're all decently used, clearly. All the tips are gone off of them for a lot of them, it looks like. But not too bad otherwise. If anybody knows what this is, I don't know if you can see in the full picture. This is, so it's a snap on. This is the part number on it. And this is the end. It looks like a golf club. I don't understand what this would be for, if you know. I mean, it's angled too. So, if you know what that is, let me know, because I'd be interested to see. Well, it looks like we got a screwdriver shank from some screwdriver long ago. Same thing. Old-ass screwdriver. Another shank from something. A magnet. Broken on half screwdriver. Air chisels. Regular punches and chisels. Wizard. Craftsman. Uh, Stanley. Yeah, pretty much all it's in here. Not anything super massive. But that stuff bad. In our last drawer for this video, maybe. We got some interesting wrenches. So we got Snap-on. That's an interesting shape and offset. More Snap-on. Walter, made in Germany. Interesting. score big breaker bar that's a little rusted up nothing to wire we won't fix and craftsman power master yeah 
that'll go with your guys' junk. Long. Don't know what that is. Challenger of Canada. Some craftsman stuff. Challenger of Canada. Buffalo. New Britain. Craftsman. Mad. So, Penn's Court of Chicago. So a bunch of random stuff. Little stuff. Uh, this is just a one-handed wrench. They do not make these anymore, if I remember right, just because it's a stupid design. But the idea is to put it on there, and then you can use it as you know your leverage to tighten itself, and it'll go on any nut. Again, it's it's a gimmicky tool, but they've made it. This one's called the one-hander, made in Germany. So, yeah, that's our uh, our first toolbox. There will be two more videos on it. I just can't really shove all of it in one video considering this one's already 21 minutes long. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully not super uh, distant in the future. I hope to get it done quickly. Of course, today we're on sunlight, but tomorrow or the next day or something like that. But I'll, I'll get it up there and get it to you guys as soon as possible. All right, I'll see you guys next time.